everyone. Welcome, this is my review of the FDX U7 Performance Cycling Bib Shorts, or Budget Bib Shorts, as I like to call them. As you can see, I'm wearing a pair just now. Very snazzy. And I also have a pair for display here. Now, let me bring these shorts over with me and we'll have a sit down. We'll have a little look at them. Okay, so I'm doing this review because anyone that knows me knows that ultimately I'm cheap. I really am. I can't help it. The thought of paying £100 plus for a set of bib shorts, you know, from, from Lacole or, or Rafa, man, it, it just grates on me, you know. I come from a working class background. Every pound was a prisoner and I, it just grates to pay that kind of money. For, for those kind of bib shorts. So it was my intention to try and find a cheaper alternative that still offered the same kind of quality uh, that the more expensive bib shorts reviewed. Um, and you know, the other thing is, it's really easy to find reviews of, of expensive bib shorts because the companies like Rafa, Lacole, look, I'm, I'm certain that their products are great. I really am. But you know, they can afford to send out two dozen pairs to different reviewers. Um, you know, their marketing budget will cover that because the, the cost is tied up in the bib shorts. But a smaller company that's working on smaller margins, they can't afford to send out two dozen pairs. Um, so I thought I would do a, a video here just for all the, the cheap people like me. Um, and we will we'll have a little look at these these bib shorts. So if you've never heard of FDX, probably most of you I never had, they're founded in 2013, they're based in London, and they say that they focus on making quality clothing that is reasonably priced. Okay, certainly can't argue with reasonably priced, you know. Um, look around their website, you're looking at gilets, so that's 16 pounds, jackets, 30 pounds, tops, 17 pounds, bib shorts, 20 quid. And I mean, that's just from the website. Like if you go to Amazon, um, then you can get the same things for even less, you know, um, another couple of pounds off. So you, you certainly can't argue with that. Now, the bib shorts, I got two sizes of these because as I've cycled more and more, my weight has dropped, um, which I'm not going to complain about. It's great. Um, so I'm not really in a place where I want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on bib shorts because I don't know what size I'm going to need and I don't know if they're going to last. So we got some bar we got we went through the bargain bin and we, we trawled up some of these bargain basement bib shorts and I've had some terrible bib shorts. Um, I have some absolute shockers. Uh, the pads all crumpled and bent out of shape after a few rides. So anyway, we went and we found these ones and they seem to tick all the boxes. You know, they're they're inoffensive is probably the best way to put them, you know. Um, simple black and red or, or these ones are blue um, with a pattern on the side. Um, yeah, they're inoffensive. They're not, you know, they're not fantastic they're not the most stylish but you know a black white and blue pattern or there's other there's green ones as well i didn't buy green ones but and they come in a variety of sizes they've got small up to double xl um as a side note their customer service was actually really good i ordered two sizes ordered l and xl because i wasn't sure different different companies have different sizes um so i thought i'll order you know large and extra large and see where we go um, turns out the large was too snug, but that was, it was more in the height department. I'm six foot two. So uh, it was too, it just wouldn't be, it wasn't going on. Um, so went through the website, did the returns and within two days I had, um, I had a, another pair of, of XL. It was great. And the only downside I would say is that, you know, a lot of online retailers, if you need to do returns, they will send you a returns envelope with a, you know, a postage paid um, sticker. Um, but again, you know, we're talking 20 odd pound for a pair of bib shorts. Their margins are so tight, they can't afford to, to deal with paying postage. So, you know, I can let that slide. I can understand why, why customers have to pay that. 
Um, so the bibs delivery, two days. Um, placed my order on Amazon two days later, they were here, which is great. Um, you know, they're well put together. I've maybe done a dozen or so rides in both of these and you know, there's no pulled stitches. You can see the stitching here. Um, you know, it's nice, nice stitching. No, uh, no chaffage or anything uh, from inside. Let's have a look at the inside stitches here. As you can see, nice, clean, no, uh, no pulled stitches or anything, which is great. Really impressed with that. Um, so I'm happy there. The material is 80% nylon, 20% lycra. It's got a nice stretch to it. It's not too snug. Uh, it's a good compression, but it's not it's not too much. So again, pretty happy with that. And a mesh back, which is good, keeps the keeps the back cool. Um, as you can see here. I don't know if you can see it's almost opaque if I hold up the light. Yeah, you can kind of see it's see through in the light there. So this is good. Um, the legs have the little grippers at the bottom. Um, so that helps to keep everything in place. You can see here little rubbery grippers. Um, so they're nice, they, they keep it, they don't ride up. Um, that's great, as you can see, they're snug and well attached. Um, so happy with them. Yeah, I can't really, I can't complain so far. The one thing I noticed though, with especially over the other bargain basement pad, like other bargain bib shorts that I've got, was the pad. Now, the sales pitch said it's a DuPont Coolmax 3D anti-back pad. Um, and it's got this like soft covering. Can you see it's like a, it's almost like a flock covering um of the pad and um uh, it just feels really soft um it doesn't it, it doesn't get crumpled out of shape or yeah it's really nice against your skin um and yeah it holds up well like i say done multi hour rides with these you know five six hours and they hold up really well uh, mega pretzel uber pretzel you know, we've we've done we've done them and these and they hold up really well. Um they also have a little zipper on the back pocket, um just on the back of the shorts, which is here, a little zip pocket for you to store any valuables in. It's not really big enough for a phone. Um so you're really looking at things like keys or you know a cheeky tenor for the cafe stop on the way. That's that's pretty good going. Uh that'd be nice there. But yeah, for a phone, like I, I'll put my phone in it when I'm riding on the indoor trainer because, you know, there's no bumps in the road or anything that's going to bounce it out. But if I was out on the road, then I wouldn't be putting my phone in it because it would just bounce out. So, um, you know, overall, I'm really impressed with these. We're talking a price point, um, what, around £100 cheaper than Lacoste, um you know, a quarter of the price of Rafa's most budget offering. I mean, you can't go wrong. And, you know, the design... Look, I don't really... Personally, I don't really care all that much what I look like when I'm out cycling. I'm out cycling for exercise or transport. Um, I'm not overly fussy. and But they're inoffensive. I'll give them that. They're inoffensive. And, you know, if you really want to look good, buy your recalls, buy your Rafa's, um, you know, fair play. If you can afford it and you've got the budget for it, that's great, go for it. If you're on a budget, um, if things are tight, you've got family to support, or you even are just, just don't want to spend that kind of money, I would absolutely recommend these um, these FDX U7s. I'll leave a link to them, uh, to their Amazon shop and to their website in the description in the video um, down below. Um, and yeah, have a great one. I uh, hope that you try them out and I will see you next time. Thanks.